y'all, this is Thea from Train Eat Love, a blog by Elon Fitness and Nutrition. Today I'm going to be talking about seven, count them, seven things that my clients have told me that they think are absolutely true that I've had to heartbreakingly tell them are not. Seven myths about nutrition that you need to stop believing. <laughs> jump right into it. Number one. So I just don't eat carbohydrates because they're bad for you. Yeah. No, carbohydrates are not bad for you. Carbohydrates and excess will probably prevent you from losing weight the way that you want. So you probably want to moderate or limit the amount of carbohydrates that you're getting, but please do not eliminate them from your diet. A no carb diet is not the way to go. Maybe just maybe a lower carb diet might be the way to go, but please do not think that eliminating or seriously reducing the amount of carbohydrates that you're getting is going to be the way that you're going to get the weight off if that's your your prerogative carbohydrates or grains are going to have a lot of vitamins and minerals that you need for normal bodily functions so try maybe eating some more fruits and vegetables which a lot of dietitians and nutritionists are always telling you to do anyways and seeing if that might curb your appetite for um, carbohydrates and try and move away from carbohydrate dense meals so maybe not having a pizza one night and then pasta the next night and then chicken and rice the next night so I don't eat past 8 o'clock because it's bad for you I don't want to gain any weight yeah exactly I'm just kidding so what you eat is more important than the time that you eat if you are absolutely positively hungry and just so happens to be at 10 o'clock please eat something especially if you're going to be up for a few hours later don't think that just because it's a certain time that you're totally cut off from eating but please make sure that it's something more nutritious than calorie dense so try and shift your mindset if you're going to be eating late at night Please don't starve yourself. If you're hungry and you just say like, oh, I'm not going to eat anything or I'm just going to go to bed, you're putting yourself into a more of a severe starvation mode, which for some people actually has the opposite effect if you're trying to lose weight. In a starvation mode, you're body actually holds on to more reserve energy, which is fat, because it doesn't think that it's going to be getting anything else. So if you push your body into a starvation mode by not eating when you're actually hungry, it's probably going to have the opposite effect of what you want. So just make sure that you have some healthy snacks in the house for when you do end up being hungry late at night. Number three, so I need to eat a lot of protein if I want to gain muscle and I need to have a protein shake right after I leave the gym. Not necessarily. I will say this, of course you need protein to build lean muscle. We all know this, but don't just arbitrarily consume protein shakes, protein bars, and like six slices of a chicken breast because you think that you need more protein in your diet. Because an excess amount of protein can also be de very detrimental to other organs in your body. You can also wait up to two hours after a workout until you need some protein. So you don't don't think that you have to have a protein shake as you're walking out of the gym to for it to be the most effective. This is a good one. So after I work out, I only drink sports drinks because that's the only way to rehydrate. No, nah, not really. <laughs> so the best way to rehydrate obviously, obviously is water. And a lot of people think sports drinks are the way to rehydrate because that's what marketing has told us. Now, sports drinks do contain electrolytes that you need to rehydrate. When you sweat, you perspire. And if you've ever tasted your sweat, not intentionally, just by accident. It's a little salty, right? That's because your sweat has sodium in it, but it also has electrolytes like calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So you also need to replenish these after you sweat as well. So sports drinks have some of these in them, but they also have a crap load of sugar. Why? Because they're made for athletes that need that quick, simple energy, that quick, simple glucose from that sugar to help power them through the rest of the workout or the game or whatever. After we finish a workout, that's pretty much it for us. So we really don't need all of that excess sugar. We need those electrolytes. So to get electrolytes like sodium, if you just grab some salted peanuts after the gym, that'd be great. To get potassium, everyone loves bananas. To get magnesium, what about some rice and beans? And to get some calcium, everyone likes some milk or even have some eggs. But the one food that has the calcium, magnesium, and potassium, they're collard greens. Most people are surprised that collard greens have all of these minerals in them, and then if you just add a little bit of salt on top of them, you'll get all of the electrolytes that you need after a workout. It's pretty cool, right? This is my other favorite. 
So I'm on a low sugar diet because sugars are bad for you as well. So if you're not diabetic, that's not necessarily accurate. So just like carbohydrates, if you're eating too much sugars, then they are going to turn into reserve energy. So you need to modify the amount of sugars that you're eating. That doesn't necessarily mean no more fruit. I'm talking about added sugars. The ones that are on the package that you don't really realize or even in things like ketchup and pasta sauces have extra sugar that you don't even realize that you're eating. So you really, really need to read those labels, guys. Please read the labels. You don't listen to anything else that I'm saying today. Please read the labels to make sure you know exactly what you're eating. So I've switched from regular sugar to only consuming honey because honey is better for you. Ooh. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, sugar is sugar is sugar. Honey is more dense than table sugar. So you do need a lot less of it than regular table sugar to get the same sweetness that you might like. So that's where some people are saying, oh, it's better for you because you don't need as much. But if you're still consuming way too much honey, you're still going to consume way too much sugar. And I say my most favorite for the last. So, I mean, I take supplements, so I really can eat whatever I want, right? This is, <laughs> this is the one where I'm like, who told you that? <laughs> no, you cannot eat whatever you want just because you take supplements. You still need to have a wholesome and nutritious diet. So it's kind of like an insurance policy on your diet. Just as like a second base, just to make sure that you're getting all of the vitamins and minerals that you need. I'm talking about like a multivitamin. People think that they can just take those and not do what they need to do on the nutrition side, eating the right way. That is not it. I think it'd be a lot cheaper to make sure that you're eating an orange every day than buying a $20 bottle of vitamin C pills. You know what I mean? But I will say this, I have seen dietitians that say there, there are two supplements that are okay and they really don't have an issue with people consuming and that's going to be vitamin B12 and vitamin D. But those are pretty much the only two supplement wise that if you just get those two and you're eating a fully nutritious diet, you really don't need a multivitamin. If you want to have it, that's fine too, but please don't think that just having a multivitamin and eating a burger and fries and pizza every day is going to save you because it is not honey. But that's it, those are my seven myths that I hear from clients all the time and I have to tell them that it simply are just not true. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. If you wanna see another video just like this, comment down below, go ahead and click that like button and go ahead and subscribe. If you have any personal questions, I am a nutrition coach, so click that link below, go to my website and book a personal nutrition coaching session with me and we will get started. Until next time, guys.